After a month-long wait, Solar Impulse 2 is back in the air. Next stop, the islands of Hawaii, six days and six nights away. This is the latest and longest leg of a trip that started two months ago. Solar Impulse 2 left Abu Dhabi in March in an effort to circumnavigate the globe using only solar power. The upper surfaces of the plane are coated in solar cells to maximize its collection. Except for its sun-charged batteries, it doesn't carry any sort of fuel. The Solar Impulse team says its flight is to demonstrate the broader potential of renewable energy. They hold up the sun-powered plane as a proof of concept for how such clean tech can be made useful. One thing's for sure, Solar Impulse won't replace any commuter planes anytime soon. It's got a top speed of a little more than 86 miles per hour, is a real lightweight at just 5,000 pounds, and still has a wingspan greater than a Boeing 747. Crosswinds can be a bit of a problem. So if the weather doesn't provide ideal conditions, a Solar Impulse can be forced to wait. It spent more than a month stalled in China until conditions aligned over the Pacific. This will be especially important during the multi-day crossing to Hawaii. After flying all night, its batteries can run down to less than 10%, so it depends on recharging in clear skies in the morning. The more than 130-hour flight will be upwards of five times the duration of the longest previous leg. If it goes well, Solar Impulse 2 could set a record for the longest flight by a single pilot aircraft. And if something does go wrong, pilot Andre Borschberg could have to ditch over the largest ocean on the planet. He told The Guardian, in the worst case, we have a parachute, we have a life raft, and we know how to use it. Of course, we're hoping that we will not need to do that. After it touches down in Hawaii, Solar Impulse 2 will be on its way to the mainland U.S. on a three to four day flight to Phoenix. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno.